Wait a minute, professional football on a Friday night? Well, in the hell universe of the Mutant Football League, you bet your fucking ass we're going to be playing football on Friday nights. Because we don't have to abide by any of these anti-competitional uh, laws against high schools and colleges. It's all pro football here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am your Sim League Commissioner, Andex259, commentating once again for the Mutant Football League. As I have finally figured out where the hell Grim Blitzrow, Brickhead Mulligan, and Bricks Jr. are. Apparently, they're in a time void and they'll be back in time for the, for the Sunday games. But I still got to do four more games. Yes, there's going to be another Friday night game and two more Saturday night games. My voice is going to go crazy. I seriously don't know how in the world those three men managed to do this every single game. But anyway, we're going to we're going to get started. Our contest is between two teams that are ye that are looking for their first win of the season. It is the Motor City Maniacs and the Purple Mutant Eaters. So, without further ado, let's fire things up. We are going to be live from the Terradome. And Cineropolis for Skin of Soda. It is a massive dome over this facility. Nice Viking ship design. It is perfect conditions. Two spikes and a buzz saw. And we do have a sold out crowd despite both teams going in with an 0 2 record. Dirty Tricks. Motor City Maniacs has a chainsaw and a sonic blast. Purple Mutant Eaters. Warp, warp Speed and Roid Rage. There's also. Sticky bars, ginormous, berserks, and hot potatoes. This is going to get a little crazy. All right, it's time for the goat toss for this game. It is brought to you by the Radio Demon, Alistair. Please use caution before sealing any deals with him. These players are now getting warmed up, getting ready for the kickoff. And the Motor City Maniacs have won the goat toss and... They have elected to defer to the second half. That means the Purple Mutant Eaters will get the first half kickoff. Time to get things going right now. As Ulf gets burned, receives the ball. And, ooh, speared at the 35-yard line. And I don't know what the hell happened, but the kicker is dead for the Motor City Maniacs. That is a way to go. So that means they're going to have to get a reserve, and that means their kicking game is going to be dog shit for the rest of the game. We'll start the proceedings on the 35-yard line. First to 10, sends it over to the running back all the way past the first down line. He'll be taken down at the at their own 48. New fresh set of downs. Move to chains. It's first and 10. Snaps the ball. Heads it over, and we got a warp speed dirty trick. Well, oh, right into the spikes. Got to watch where you're going. But despite that, we got a touchdown. But a bullshit penalty was activated right off the bat. Motor City Maniacs knew about the dirty tricks. And everybody knows about the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. There you go. Got a little education lesson for everybody here, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like the offense is going to jump off sides and kill the ref. And now we have Blind Willie Toker reincarnated. I think this is his, his second time of the season. I'm not sure. But, yes, they will be backed up another 15 yards. It is now first and 35. Ball on their own 23. Good Lord, that's quite a distance. But at least it's first down. And they'll get four chances to get some good yardage. Put it back. Looking for the receiver. Picks it up. Adam Steelen. Oh, nice gain. 31 yards. Just short of that, and Quirk Buzzin is going to have to head to the sidelines. Ball is now placed at the opposing 47-yard line. It is second and four. Wolven Creek to receive the ball and gets wrestled down to the ground. Makes it past the yellow line, first and ten. Purple Mutant Eaters. Snaps the ball over to the quarterback. Oh, watch out for that spot. Saw that almost came up. 
and will send it over to the receiver who receives the ball and gets wrestled down to the 25 yard line. It is once again first to 10. Quarterback receives the snap to ball. Von Minion looking for a receiver. Oh, what in the world? You had one freaking job. That's going to be incomplete, second and 10. Quarterback will now send it over to the running back and get smashed right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It is third down and 10. Ball on the opposing 25 yard line. I know for some reason the graphics say 26, but it's actually 25. Anyway, ball is snapped to the quarterback. Looking for a receiver. Ooh, pass deflected. And thanks to that bullshit penalty, they were denied a touchdown and will now just simply settle for a field goal. Let's see how well they kick this. Good kick. And it is good for four points. Purple Mutant Eaters with a four-point field goal, so they will go up on the board. <coughs> they will now kick it off to Clay Bleedster and gets wrestled down to the 35-yard line. Just a reminder, the Motor City Maniacs have lost their kicker on their very first play, so they're going to have to... Oh, what is going on here? First, I don't remember a bullshit penalty being called. Um, and my Venmo is, uh, uh, my cash app is Andex259. Anyway, Motor City Maniacs to receive the snap of the ball. Sends it over to the running back. Yeah, I don't know what prompted the, um, the ref attack. I don't remember the ref being bribed. I must have missed a play or something. Anyway. Get stomped on the play. Second down, 25. Ball on their own 20. Jared Goff looking for a receiver. Picks it up. Oh, nice pat, Nice pass. First to 10. Ball on their own 48. Sends it over. And gets smacked. Second and six. Ball on the opposing 48 now. Jared Garhead Goth. Sending it to receiver and picks it up. Gets his head smashed in on the 32 yard line. It is once again first and 10. Getting very close. Motor City Maniacs will now send it over to the running back and gets. Thrown over the shoulders onto the ground. And Jarhead Goth, number 16, is going to have to head to the sideline. And it is second down, three yards to go. Ball is on the opposing 24-yard line. Grim Boyle. Now the quarterback. Oh, and it's a... Oh, ouch! A sonic boom with a sticky ball attached to it. You don't see that nowadays. That is going to be the first sack of the game for number 58, Maniac Fierce. Yeah, that, that was a great use of a sticky ball dirty trick. Oh, man, I wish we had the instant replay system. That would be awesome. But anyway, we're going to keep this game going. Third down, 17. Ball on the opposing 38. Sends it over to Shock Fright, the right bird receiver. And gets wrestled down. Almost got impaled by the spikes there. It is first and 10 now. They're in the red zone. Ball on the opposing 15-yard line. Ball sends it over to the running back. And that's a gain of two yards. Second down. Grim Boyle's going to have to head to the sidelines. He is injured. A massive crowd of 70,000 plus here at the Terror Dome. Jarhead Garth sending it over to the white running back via a pass. Past the yellow line. That is a first down. First in goal. Ball on the three. Jarhead Garth 
Um, almost perfect in his passing game. And will take it in himself. That is a touchdown. No penalties on the play. It will stick. Number 16, Jarhead Goth taking it to the house all by himself thanks to that quarterback sneak. They run out. Expected to be set up for the extra point attempt. And the extra point is good. We will now set things up on the kickoff. Oh, and that's not a bad kick for a um, for a reserve player. Ulf gets burned, taking it almost to the 40-yard line, but gets sacked just two yards short of it. They'll start the proceedings on their own 38-yard line. It is first and 10. Lines up. Snaps the ball. Sends it to Wolvencrook, their running back. For a loss of two yards. Yikes. It is now second and 12. Quirk buzzing. Looking for a receiver. Finds it in the running back. Wolven Crook. And that will, oh, just be a yard short. Quirk buzzing's going to have to head to the uh, locker room. Or he's just going to head to the bench. He is injured. And that will do it for quarter one. Motor City Maniacs lead seven to four. Our sponsor for the first quarter is the WWE. Now actually run by someone who knows what the fuck they're doing. We're starting the second quarter now. Teams have changed ends. It was 31, but they'll make it past the yellow line. It is first and 10. Ball on now the opposing 47. They'll snap the ball. Spawn Minion looking for a receiver. Almost got sacked. Finds the receiver in Wolven Crook. Wolven Crook takes it all the way to the six yard line. First and goal. That is indeed an amazing performance there. I think that was a 13 yard gain. I'm not sure. The numbers were red. Weird. Anyway, they'll line it up. See what they'll do. We'll send it over to Wolven Crook, and that has just got to be the easiest touchdown. Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh! They killed a they killed a running back! Oh what is oh bombs away! Oh my goodness. Oh so so that that is gonna be a Pyrrhic victory. Purple Mutant Eaters is gonna take the lead. It's now going to be a four-point lead, but at the expense of their star running back, Wolven Crook, he is out for the rest of the game. Dirty trick, Motor City Maniacs, and the fans ain't having it. Oh, oh boy. There might be a couple of them storming the field. Play Bleedster to receive the kick and will be wrestled down to the ground at the 33, and oh, boy. Yeah, there's a lot of aggression. Purple Mutant Eaters did not like that dirty trick that they did on their running back. But that is unfortunately how you're supposed to play the game. In this league, cheating is encouraged. Loss of two yards on the play. Second down, 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 32. Jarhead Garth looking for a receiver. Ginormous dirty trick. And it looks like they got themselves a little bit of revenge, baby. As they recovered a defensive... Makes a defensive fumble recovery. Nice going. Number 93 going to be credited. Patrick Groves the second. That is an amazing play. And what a way to get their revenge. Oh, still a fumble six return for the touchdown. They're now setting up for the extra point. Snapped. Kicked. And it is good. Purple Mutant Eaters now with an 11-point lead. 5-16 left in the second. They will now kick off to the Motor City Maniacs once again. Play Bleedster. Will attempt to return. Pass to 35 and will be wrestled down at the 36. 
They'll start the proceedings from their own 36. It is first and 10. DeAndre Slip will receive the pitch from the quarterback and gains about a yard and a half. It is second and eight. Xavier Hoods, number 23, is dead and gone. Oh, boy. There is go there is a lot of fighting now. I think some of them managed to wrap some razor wire around their fists. Things are going to get very bloody. Very oh, oh, speaking of razor wire, we got a chainsaw on the play. He and Slay Swift Drift. Oh! Oh, it's lovely to see those chainsaws come out of play. Makes it all the way in. That is going to be a touchdown for the Motor City Maniacs. Oh, they sent a message. You want to play dirty? Well, guess what? Two can play at that game. We got our own dirty tricks. Butcher paper and probably some seasoning. Number 68, Trailer Heckler is dead and gone. And they've only managed to injure a Purple Mutant Eater. Number 27, Slammer and Rantzler is going to have to go to the sidelines. Motor City Maniacs will attempt to go for two. Try to keep the distance down to three points. DeAndre, Beyond Slash Drift will pick out the two. Number 32 has just been on a roll today. Well, he is not wrong. All right, they will now kick off to the Purple Mutant Eaters. Kick is up. It is received at the 11. Wolf gets burned, will attempt to return it. Past the 30. And gets uppercutted and thrown around. Finally stopping at the 35-yard line. He'll start the proceedings from there. It is first and 10. Quirk Buzzin, quarterback, looking for a receiver. Defiler Conquers finally receives it. Oh, what in the world? Um, okay, apparently people were forgetting how to tackle? That was, got, that's got to be the oddest play of all time. Anyway, it is once again first down, 10 yards to go. Me Meander Splatterson, the running back, will receive the ball and will attempt to run with it. Gets a gain of six yards, second down four. Quirk Buzzin to receive this. Passing it over to Bustin Jettison and gets slammed down at the 10. They are now officially in the red zone. It is... First and goal, ball on their opposing 10-yard line. They line up. Work buzzing. Sending it straight over to the running back. And, ooh, gets collar tackled at the 2-yard line. Close, but no cigar. Purple Mutant Eaters looking to get back in his lead. And the 2-minute warning has now been activated. So after that two-minute warning timeout, they will try this again. Second and goal, ball on the two. Snaps it over to the running back. And that's an easy take it to the house. A little bit of a touchdown celebration. Purple Mutant Eaters now up to 24. Meander Splatterson will be credited with his first touchdown of the game. They will now line up to attempt the extra point. Kick is up. And it's good. With that, the Purple Mutant Eaters will go into a one-point lead. All is said on the 35, they will kick off. Motor City Maniacs to receive. And gets wrestled down to the ground at their own 34-yard line. Kill Patrick Peterson, number seven. The quarterback is dead and gone. 
They line up. It's first and ten. Jalen Slade Griff gets backed up a yard. They're now on to 32. Second down, 11 yards to go. Florida City Maniacs will pull their first time out. It's, they have two remaining for the half. Sending the ball over to Jarhead Goth. And the pass is dropped. It is now third and 11. Jarhead Goth sends it over to Giandre Drift. And gets slammed down at the yellow line. They're going to send a measure, McCrew. Two inches short is the call. Purple Mutant Eaters is going to call a timeout. They have two remaining. 119 left in the first half. Oh, look at how super close that is. Are they really going to try and kick a punt? They punted. Off gets Bird, set to return. Pass to 40. Oh, and gets wrestled down at the 44 with exactly one minute remaining in the second quarter. Starting the proceedings on their own 44 yard line, it is first and 10. Snaps the ball, sends it over to. Oh, it's a double pass play, but it was a fluke. That's an incomplete pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. Quick buzzing. Looking for a receiver. Gets nothing but a sack on the play. Loss of seven yards. Number 54, all screen McNeil. Credited with his first sack of the season. Third down, and the uh, punter is warming up. Quirk buzzing. Looks for a receiver. Sends it over to Meander Splatterson, which will convert the third down. That is indeed a first down. Quirk buzzing is going to have to have it back to the sidelines. He is injured. And the Purple Mutant Eaters will take their second time out of the half. They have one remaining. Hurry up offense now been activated. Spawn McMinion. Look for a receiver. Finds it. No, he did not. He was wide open too. What in tarnation. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we need to stock up on some more of that uh, sticky tack stuff. Um, okay, finding receiver. There we go. Adam stealing. Picks up. Six more points just to end that half. Nice going. 31 by the Purple Mutant Eaters. Motor City Maniacs only on 15. Lining up for the extra point attempt. Place kick through the uprights. It is good. Purple Moon Eaters now up to 32. And that will officially do it for halftime. Purple Moon Eaters are ahead of this game by 17. Motor City Maniacs needing to pull together some bribe money for the locker room in order to bribe the ref for the second half. Today's halftime sponsor is brought to you by Visit Iowa. We have corn too. We are now going to start this third quarter, but before we do, a little word from the team captain. All right, sending up for the kickoff, Motor City Maniacs to receive the second half kickoff. Play Bleedster. Receives. And is wrestled into the ground. They'll start the proceedings on their own 33-yard line. It is first and 10. Ball snapped. Jarhead Goth. Gigant, ginormous dirty trick. Still finds his running back. Gian and Slade Drift. And yikes. 
Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, we do. Number 27, Slambrin Ransler. Cornerback two is dead. Setting up for the next play. The Anslay Drift. Ouch! But they do make it past the first down line. They'll get a new fresh set of downs. First and 10, ball on the opposing 37 yard line. Jorge Goth sending it over to the running back, The Anslay Drift, and gets nowhere with it. Just a yard gained, second down, nine yards to go. Snap to the quarterback, looking for a receiver. Got plenty of time. Finds it in the running back and just gets enough for the first down. That clock is burning like crazy. We're, all re we're already down to 520 remaining in the third. First and 10, ball on the opposing 26-yard line. Jarhead Goth to receive the ball. Sends it on over to the wide receiver. They'll reach it. Touchdown, Motor City Maniacs. No bullshit penalty on this one. So the score is going to stick. Number 14, Demon Rock Crown. Post out some nice numbers for today's game for the Motor City Maniacs. And it looks like they're going to try going for two on this play. Sends it over to the running back. And that is an easy two-point conversion. So now the lead has been brought down to a single digit. Still two possessions, though. It is 32 to 23 in favor of the Purple Mutant Eaters. With 5.02 remaining in the third quarter. He'll kick off. Wolf gets burned. Will attempt the burn return. Pass to 30. 35. Makes it pass to 40. 45. Almost to midfield. And almost got sliced by that saw. But they will start the proceedings on their own 46-yard line. That's a great way to start. It is first and 10. Quirk buzzing. Look for a receiver. They find one. Adam stealing. That was simply just too easy. They get slammed down on the 31-yard line. It is first and 10. Work buzzing. Immediately sends it over to the running back and gets yanked. Sending out the measuring crew. About five feet shy of the yellow line. It'll be second down, two yards to go. Or technically second and one and a half. Work buzzing. Backs up, looks for a receiver. May find one. Or maybe not. That's a dropped pass. Incomplete. Third and two. Ball. Once again, on the opposing 23-yard line. Brook buzzing. Oh! That is a massive spike sturdy trick. He, he did not want to throw that one away to get a penalty. So it's going to be fourth and two. They're going to go for it. Try to get those last two yards. Brook buzzing. Looking for that receiver. And oh my god! That was a massively ugly play, but hold up, we have a penalty. Ah, it's a bullshit penalty to keep the drive alive. Great use of the bribe ref dirty trick, Purple Mutant Eaters. And of course, Motor City Maniacs, they knew what was going on. They have no choice, they have to kill the ref. Light Scary now taking over. And he too has a Venmo. See, this is what we need to have here, ladies and gentlemen. A modernized way to bribe officials. Sending over to Quirk Buzzin. Oh, we have a Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Or, I forgot what it was called. But anyway, they will get the touchdown. It's going to stick 38-23. to 23, Purple Mutant Eaters. Oh, I think it was steroids. Or Roid Rage or something like that. Got to be careful uh, not using too much steroids. 
because you're going to end up with tiny genitals and a mutant hobbit head growing on your shoulder. That's exactly what happened to Brickhead Mulligan. That's why we have Bricks Jr. Anyway, they lined up for the two-point conversion. They'll pick it up. Number 83 credited to receive it. This will now put the Popo Mutant Eaters 40 to 23. Sending it over to Clay Bleedster. And gets wrestled down at the 41 yard line. It is going to be first and 10. Eric Blendrick, Bendrick, Ben Bricks. Eric Ben Bricks, number 54 LLB, is dead. Try saying that fucking name five times fast. Anyway. First and ten. Dude, DeAnslay Drift. And is thrown over the shoulder. Take it down at their own 48-yard line. Jarhead Goth is going to have to head to the sidelines. He is injured. And it is second and three. Grim Boyle. Quarterback. Looking for a receiver. Um, I have no idea what the hell happened there. Obviously, it's a drop pass incomplete. 33. Setting up at once again at their own 48. The Ansley drift. You take the ball and gets wrestled down to the ground at the 45 yard line. Opposing, it is once again first and 10. Grim Boyle, quarterback, sending it over to Demerra Crown, and ooh, a back spear from behind. That's going to take him down at the 26. They will get a first down. Grim Boyle now receiving the next snap, finds the receiver, harsh stranglehold, gets it in. That's a touchdown for the Motor City Maniacs. Another six points being tacked onto their side of the scoreboard. With 155 left in the third quarter, we are going to be seeing that scoreboard light up tonight. They're going to get the scoreboard even more lit with a two-point attempt. Jarhead got, oh, that was freaking easy. Where was defense that time? Motor City Maniacs will pick up the two-point conversion. Jarhead got, with lots of credit to his name. So now kick off. Purple Mutant Eaters to receive. Bolt gets burned. Makes it past the 30, 35. Made it past the 40. Oh! Makes it past midfield. Oh! I think someone just got sliced with that saw there. Oh my goodness, it takes it all the way to the opposing 29-yard line. That's got to be crazy. And Legion Soup, the backup kicker, is also dead. My goodness, they're going to have to get a second reserve. That's the second kicker from the same team that got killed today. Holy Montezuma's revenge. Anders Splatterson. Will only pick up a yard on that one. It is second down, nine yards to go. Ball on the opposing 28. Once again, I got to credit uh, Ulf gets burned, the burn returner, for that amazing return. Quirk Buzzin sends it right on over to Defiler Conkers. Gets taken down to the six yard line. First down and goal to go. First and goal. Neander Spireson to receive the ball off the quarterback and gets another six points on their side of the scoreboard. It is a touchdown. That's his third credited touchdown of the game. Yeah, I know. Can you believe that they're still doing my little bony conventions? Well, now you know. They're going for two. Oh, and that's an easy pickup of two points on the play. 
Purple Mutant Eaters now up by 17 points. They will now set up at the 35 yard line for the kickoff. Motor City Maniacs to receive. Play Bleedster. Set to return. Passing 30, 35. Stopped at the 37 yard line. That's where they'll start the proceedings for the next drive. We're seeing that scoreboard light up like crazy, ladies and gentlemen. First and 10. Quarterback receives snap, sends it straight to the running back. They will gain nine yards on that play. It is second down, one yard to go. Ball on their own 45. Will they snap the ball in time? No, they will not. That is the end of quarter three. Third quarter sponsor this evening is the Houston Astros, making dirty MFL players blush since 1962. We are now going to start the fourth and final quarter of the ball game. The Anslay trade. Oh my goodness! Immediately eats a saw. He is gonna be dead and gone. Motor City Maniacs thankfully recovering that offense. And five seconds. We're oh my god, he's going to actually eat him. He must have been taking some uh, tips from Alistair the Radio Demon. Anyway, number 32, DeAnslay Drift, dead and gone for the rest of the game. Just ate a saw right there. Yikes. Ouchies. All right. Purple Mutant. Oh, I, I'm, I must have been mistaken. It was the Purple Mutant Eaters that actually recovered that fumble off that dead player. So they're actually going to start the proceeding at what I thought was what was the own 38, but now they've taken it to their own 45. It is a first down conversion. First and 10. Lots of exciting things in the Mutant Football League. That's why we call it the Mega Fun League. Anyway, they send it over to the running back. Just enough to get that first down. 11 yards on that play. They're now taking the ball to the opposing 34-yard line. Six minutes left to go in the fourth and final quarter of the ball game. Quirk Buzzin. Sending it over to Meander Splatterson. And gets wrestled to the ground. They now start the drive on the 11 yard line. First and 10, still possible to get a first down without a touchdown, but they're not settling for that. They're gonna go all the way to the house and uh, they're gonna have to catch the ball first. That's gonna be an incomplete pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. Receives the snap, sends it over to the running back. Ouch, close line from hell, backed up four yards. It is third down, 14 yards to go. Ball on the opposing 15. Quick buzzing. And it got nowhere. Fourth and 14. It looks like they may go for a three-point field goal. They will go for the field goal attempt. Snap, place, kick. And we are going to tack three more points onto the scoreboard. The field goal is good. Coach City Maniacs will now kick things off to the Purple Mutant Eaters. Clay Bleedster to receive. And gets yoinked up and slammed on down. They'll start the proceedings on their own 35-yard line. It is first and 10. Jabral Killiamson. Oh, they got us chainsaw. Look out. We might have some dead mutant players if they don't watch out. Ouch. Going to really run good with that ball. 25 to the 20. 15. Oh, didn't get stopped by the spikes there. Finally grabs a hold of him. Slams him spine first onto the ground for... On the nine yard line. It is first and goal. Nobody injured or dead. But hey, that chainsaw got them some yards. They'll immediately send this one to the running back. Gain a six on the play, second and goal, ball on the three. Three thirty-eight left in the fourth quarter. 
That's the ball. Jared Goff is going to look for a passing play. Sticky ball. Dirty Trey King eats a sack. That is a massive loss of 12 freaking yards. Number 98, DJ Woundum. Woundum is going to be credited for the sack. That's his first sack of the game. Third sack of the season. Third and goal. Ball on the 15. They're looking for a receiver on the play. Jarhead Goth. Oh, Sonic Boom! And that is a touchdown. No penalties on the play. It's going to stick. Jabral yeah, Killiams credited with his first touchdown of I'm the ball game. Ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And let's see what they'll do here. Oh, looks like they're going to try for the extra point. Not going to go for two this time. Ball is kicked up, and it's uh, good. Kind of really hard to mess that one up. So now they're going to kick off with their third string kicker. Well, that's not too bad. They actually did a lot better than the last kicker. Anyway, Ulf gets burned. Pass to 40. 45, midfield, 45, 40, 35, what the? That is another, that is another phenomenal return by Ulf Getzburn, taking the team all the way to the opposing 36. What is the kicking team doing? Oh, we got another um, warp speed. Turn we just had an explosion. Warp speed and explosion. They will, they will take it super close to the... But Meander Spireson is dead and gone. They'll take it all the way to the two. It is first and goal. Whew. Yikes. It's almost as if they saw that coming. Anyway. Running back. It's a touchdown. Another six points on the, mutant, on the purple mutant either side of the scoreboard. Keen Newfangu. Credit it with that. That's his first touchdown of his career. His first career touchdown. Now that's a way to go. And they will go for two on this play. And what a way to rub some salt in the wounds of the Motor City Maniacs. A two, the two-point conversion is good. It is now 59-38 to 38 in favor of the Purple Mutant Eaters. It is, it is now kickoff time. Sending it over to the Motor City Maniacs. Play Bleedster. Hopefully to do better than Ulf gets burned. Not going to happen. They are stopped at their own 38-yard line to start the proceedings. We've already passed a two-minute warning. It is now 152 left in the game. The hurry-up offense has now been activated. Sends it over to Jarhead Goth. And that just got nowhere. Once again, the hurry-up offense has been activated. Jerry Goth looking for a receiver. Will he get it? Yes, he will. And immediately gets wrestled down, this time at the opposing 36-yard line. And a timeout has now been taken by the Motor City Maniacs. They have two timeouts remaining. They're going to try the hurry-up offense. Sends it over. Jabral kill him. <laughs> Running back. Taken all the way down. Rushing on to play. They will take a timeout once again. They have one timeout remaining. Second down, four yards to go. Ball on the opposing 30. They need to really get things going. They got to get a touchdown, two-point conversion, and get a good onside kick recovery. Oh, and that's a good way to start. Motor City Maniacs will tack on six more points on the scoreboard. That is indeed a touchdown. Jabral Killiams. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? And I'm going to need at least 20 kegs of beer after I finally get done with all this uh, commentating stuff. And we can finally get Grim Bricks and Bricks Jr. back on the booth. 
Anyway. Kicking it up. Oh, they're only going to do one point? That's going to be quite interesting. Jorhead Goff is injured. He's going to have to hit the sidelines. Now the interesting bit is, are they going to try an onside kick? Looks like they are. Got to make sure it goes at least 10 yards. Oh, it makes it all the way past, but they will recover. Purple Mutant Eaters in, in prime position. A minute seven left. Motor City Maniacs only have one timeout left. I'm looking for a running play, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Keen Newfangu gets wrestled down. And the Motor City Maniacs will call their final timeout. And it is second and one. Kini Nufangu is wrestled all the way to the ground. And they will do it on the opposing 26 yard line. First and 10. But there is a lot of time still left to be burned. Motor City Maniacs is out of timeouts. This one's pretty much all over. Quirk buzzing. Sends it over. Oh, the nail in the coffin, ladies and gentlemen. Six poor points on the scoreboard. They are now up to 65. And that is Je Bustin Jettison's uh, second touchdown of the game. Everybody's been getting a TD on their stat records. Anyway, they will kick off for one. And the one point's good. They will now kick off with 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. This game is pretty much over. And Clay Bleedster. They're just going to let the clock all the way run down before they get to him. And that will officially do it. The Purple Mutant Eaters are 100% victorious today. It was nearly a back and forth performance, but these two just gave it all. Purple Mutant Eaters will now advance to 1-2 and two for the season. That's their third straight loss for the Motor City Maniacs. And oh my goodness, this just... Absolutely crazy. There you go. Final game stats. Purple Mutant Eaters, 66. Motor City Maniacs, 45. Final game stats has been brought to you by the Sandy Water. Salting your water so you stay thirsty and buy more. That's why I'm never going to drink this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the ball game. We will see you next time.